What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Should I my Scream 6 in this video here again today? So today is May 1st. Yeah, May 1st. So this is the month that many of us are expecting to have our appetites fulfilled when it relates to any and all juicy details for Scream 6, whether that be of course who's starring in it majorly, what the plot will be, um, and just starting to get that suspect list gathered up to start to start formulating more appropriate theories start thinking about certain possibilities and seeing what's right and what's wrong when we ultimately watch the movie in march of next year i can say that obviously they've done a much better job at keeping some things under wraps this time around it's very much so following a pattern with halloween ends and how kills kind of drop the ball with keeping certain things a secret although with kills the full-fledged script was actually out there so with scream six what I would love to see is, of course, obviously, all of the returning survivors. You would have Chad back, Mindy, uh, Jenna Ortega's character of Tara, Melissa Barrera's character of Sam, Nev Campbell, Sydney Prescott, if she is ev even able to be worked into the narrative with a strong enough reason to be present. Gail Weathers as um, Gail Weathers from Courtney Cox and some other people like Hayden Pantier back as Kirby Reed. All of those things that people have been talking about. And I've seen people talk about wanting Heather Matarazzo back. If David Arquette can somehow come back as Dewey Riley, which even then, if he were to do that, I would just laugh because then that would put a nail in the coffin for those people who like are just obsessing over the the budding heads that they think exist between arquette in radio silence and just been like oh well i guess not if if he's coming back for for a flashback sequence because we all know what happened to dewey so he wouldn't be coming back to be alive for for whatever reason but if we get all of those people back that's what i think would be announced first they would announce all the survivors first then start announcing all of the new cast members however there might be a benefit to them announcing the newer stars first especially if you're pulling people from euphoria if sydney sweeney is in it or if alexa demi is in it or someone else Maude apatow is in it if you have another actress in it like zendaya who i know zendaya's schedule for the most part is like very busy and if she's in scream six somehow it would probably be something very small and minimal at best and i've seen people of course talk about matthew lillard being in it again the problem isn't matthew lillard being in the movie because skeet Ulrich was in scream five the problem is just like how skeet Ulrich was in scream five and his character is still dead i think that should be the same thing with matthew lillard i don't think Stu should be brought back alive if you cannot formulate a cohesive narrative that is going to make 90% sense if it makes 90% sense I'll give you a pass but if it just doesn't make sense at all you you've you've lost everyone if Stu is alive I just I just don't think they're going to be able to make that happen but Matthew Lillard can still be in it um Patrick Dempsey back as Detective Kincaid obviously to see that relationship see some scenes hopefully or just hear about it or see him and maybe not see Sydney but I think people might have a problem with that I wouldn't if we got to see Sydney's husband more so than Sydney um and just hearing what he's been up to and learn about that relationship that he has with Sydney because obviously there was something there with them with those characters at the end of Scream 3 and there was an obvious interest in Sydney from him the minute he met her uh just the way he was always looking at her too was always nice to see but in in relation to other people that could star in the movie you know Kristen Stewart has made comments on it so maybe she actually is going to actually be in this movie and that was her just dropping breadcrumbs but there's so many different stars that I know people have stated they want to see in the movie as it pertains to like a Sadie Sink or I have actually seen people mention Decray Montgomery who starred alongside Sadie Sink in Stranger Things as her brother in one season or a couple seasons actually as Billy. So, you know, if they're able to bring in like major stars from these popular TV series like they did sort of with the boy star Jack Quaid in Scream 5, I think, you know, pulling from the right places is going to obviously draw more attention to your movie and that would kind of eliminate, I would think, a necessity for a Nev Campbell to return. Because I, I know people have this idea in their head that if Nev Campbell isn't there, okay, well, I'm not watching it, so that means no one else is going to watch it. No, that's not how that works. There's so many people who will literally just go out of their way. And, and I think that's kind of discrediting Stan culture, no matter how, how toxic that may be able to get sometimes. Stan culture will go out of their way 
to support any project that an actor or actress is in, regardless of anything else. They might not even be fans of the series. You might not like them watching the movie, but that's going to end up impacting how the movie performs at the box office overall. If you're pulling all the right stars and putting them into this movie and showing us that the movie is actually going to be good, no one's going to care that Nev Campbell isn't in it. Outside of us, outside of us diehard screen fans who would care, we'd be the only ones brokenhearted. The general public won't care. But hopefully this month, we get a lot of interesting casting announcements and of course hopefully we get to learn some specific plot details and learn about if this gail weathers centric narrative will have any truth to it and learn maybe so more of the direction they're going to take as it pertains to where the film is going to be set at actually confirming if it's at college or not is Sam or Sam and Tara in a different place in their life you know there's so many things that could come out from a brief log line or description to let us know about what they could do i've also seen people talk about a opening at a stab reunion where the stab cast is killed i mean maybe you guys would like that and like that's the only thing you get a stab a stab cast reunion or some type of stab convention where an, where an opening ghost face kill takes place maybe this kind of just heartbreaking for me to even think about but it's it would be cool to see if kirby is indeed the opening kill and let's say she's been in a place in her life where she gave up horror but there's a stab convention that's coming to town she goes to a stab convention she's the first character we see on screen she is connecting and mingling with people then she gets a call from a ghost face killer and she thinks it's just a joke or something else like that while she's at this staff convention trying to give this franchise another chance. And then while at this staff convention, Kirby is in one of the most amazing chase sequences you've ever gotten in the screen franchise. Hayden Pantier is hitting it off on all cylinders in her first major role in a movie since who knows how long. And then she is just your opening kill and a shocking opening, I would say, for many people. Um uh, because we already expect them to have Kirby intertwined in the narrative a little bit more. So I think that would be something that would shock at least certain screen fans that pay attention to all the news that comes out. Uh, but Hayden would knock it out of the park. If that's an opening they go with, I wouldn't necessarily be against it. I just would say I would love to see more of her. But I know she would kill it in that opening. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that, my guys, I will see you in the next video.